Okay. Hands on the side. There you go. There you go. We did. How many times do you fill up your gas tank in a week? Um, the first question we asked was, what type of car do you drive and how many times do you fill up each week? And this is our graph, and we found out that people fill up once more than three times. And the correlation of this graph is strong, and we found this by using, using LINREG because both of our variables were quantitative. And, and it's negative 0.9646. And the uh, variables we used was the total and how many times we fill up. Um, we did how far do you drive each day to school or to work. Uh, the variables we used were type of car and average distance you go. Um, we used chi-squared for both of these tests. Um, and it was dependent, independent. <laughs> um, the size of the vehicle you drive and the distance you drive to school and work are independent just because obviously it's going to depend on what size gas tank you have in your car. And then for the distance, how we explain it to people, like the short, average, and far, where we said zero to five miles is short, average is five to 15, and far is 15 and above. Are you a student or adult? What size vehicle do you drive? Um, we used the chi-squared test again, and then our null hypothesis was age was the size of the vehicle you drive, or independent, and our alternate Alternative hypothesis was age and size of your vehicle drive are dependent. And then we got a p-value of 0.0152, so we rejected it. Yeah. Our last question was, how big was, is your tank? And we used chi-square this one, too. And then our hypothesis that they were independent, and then alternative is that they're dependent. And then we got a p-value of really low. And we obviously could reject, which in conclusion, the size of the vehicle and the size of the gas tank are dependent. So the size, how we told them the size of the tank small was 9 gallons and below, and then the medium size was 10, 14 gallons, and the large was 15 gallons and above. And we observed that some people were more willing to answer these questions than others. While we were at Target and asked people, some people didn't feel comfortable answering the questions at all and some had no problem. A lot of people were very hesitant handing out this kind of information because it's kind of personal. And the majority of students drive cars, the majority of adults drive cars or SUVs for like probably for family purposes. If they have a large family, they're going to have a bigger vehicle. For conclusion, uh do you drive each day to school or work? We concluded that the size of your vehicle and how far you drive don't have a link, but people are more apt to drive a farther and shorter distance to school or work than an average distance. Um, are you a student or an adult, and what size of, what size vehicle do you drive? We concluded that the students are more apt to drive a car rather than a truck or SUV, but adults are more apt to drive an SUV because of family size. Um, what type of car do you drive and how many times do you fill up each week? We conclude that the majority of people fill their vehicle once a week and the size of their vehicle didn't matter. And then how big is your gas tank? We conclude that the smaller vehicle has a smaller gas tank and the large vehicle has a large tank. And it's most common that SUV and trucks have medium to large tanks probably because of